Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this charger from TronSmart. It's a quick charge 3.0 charger, which means it can supercharge your quick charge compatible devices. Now TronSmart is available worldwide, but it's been brought to the Philippines by a company called Cosmic Technologies, which is the parent company of Cherry Mobile. So this is what you get in the box. You get the charger itself. It's a one port charger and then a high quality micro USB cable. So you can see right now I've got the charger plugged into the AC and I've got a watt meter plugged into that. And right now we're charging this power bank here. Now this power bank is QC 3.0 compatible, although it's nearly fully charged, so it's not actually drawing as much power as usual. If I zoom in on the watt meter, you can see how much power is being drawn. You can see it's 5.3 volts, 3.3 amp, 17.7 watts. So still very high, but I've actually seen it go as high as 23 watts. But like I said, because it's filling up, it's not charging it such a fast rate. So we already know that when you use it with a compatible quick charge device, it does charge super fast. There's no question about that. I've tried it with different quick charge power banks and all of them are charged really fast. But how about older devices or non-quick charge devices? How would it do with that? For instance, this power bank from Asus, this power bank from Pinang, which can charge at two amp, this Bluetooth speaker, and of course my iPad. So I wanna test all of these because yes, it works great with QC devices, quick charge devices, but how about everything else? So the first thing I want to do is use my dummy load and see how much power we can actually draw out of this thing as a maximum. So I'll plug my dummy load into the watt meter and then I'll zoom in so you can read the screen. So let's increase the power draw. We're currently at around 1.2 amp, which is six watts. Let's go higher. We're now at two amp, 10 watts. Let's go higher. Three amp, 15 watts. Now this is close to the maximum of what my dummy load can draw. And there you go. I've now maxed out my dummy load. I can't set it any higher. You can see these are turned to their maximum setting and we're drawing around 5.1 volts, 3.18 amp, 16 and a half watts, which is pretty good. Now that's not a limit of the charger, that's a limit of what my dummy load can draw, but I'm happy to see that it could actually handle 5.1 volts, 3 amp, although we saw that anyway with the power bank, it's still nice to see it with a non-QC enabled device. Now let's see how fast it can charge this Pinung power bank, which I know can draw around 1.8 to amp. Okay, so that started charging. Let's zoom in on the watt meter. And we're at five volts, 1.4 amp, seven and a half watts, 1.5 amp. I'd like to see that go a little bit higher, really. Okay, 1.7, that's better. 1.8. Okay, good, good, good. 1.8 is okay. I think that's pretty much what I've seen this power bank max out at. So that's charging at 1.8 amp, nine and a half watts. I'm okay with that, I'm happy with that. Now let's try with this Asus power bank. This one's really weird, like sometimes I can charge it at two amp, but a lot of the time it will only take one amp and it seems random. So I don't know how well we're gonna do with this, but let's see. Okay, charging now, let me zoom in on the watt meter. So right now it's drawing 0.8 amp, 0.9. Let's see if it continues to climb. No, it doesn't seem to be doing very well. It kind of fluctuates from 0.6 to 0.9. It's not really going any higher. Now, I don't really think that's a problem with the charger. This power bank has always been very strange. I don't know why it, it plays up like this, but let's plug in another charger and just see how it does with this one. So I'll move my watt meter to the other charger and then zoom in on the watt meter. So yeah, you can see the same thing with this one. It's only drawing 0.8 and it's probably gonna do the same thing where it fluctuates down and up, down and up. This power bank is meant to charge at two amp, but ever since I've had it, it's been so unreliable. I had to throw away the cable that came with it because it was damaged um, from manufacturing problems and it's never really behaved that well. So, you know, it, this charger does as well as any other charger for this power bank. Now we're gonna try and charge this UE Boom, which is a Bluetooth speaker. This normally draws around 1.3 to 1.5 amp. So it'd be interesting to see how it does with this. Let's zoom in on the watt meter. And there you go, it's drawing around 1.2 amp, six watts. I think that's pretty much about right. Again, let's compare it against another charger just to make sure. So I'll swap it to the other charger and then zoom in on the watt meter. 
and yeah it's pretty much identical 1.2 amp 6 watts so again the charge is doing exactly as I would expect and then finally we have the iPad now this is going to be interesting because if they don't have the right circuitry in here this is going to be limited to 1 amp so let's see how it does I'll zoom in on the watt meter and there you go look at that it's only charging at 1 amp this is the thing with Apple products you need to do some special circuitry inside if you're going to get the iPad to charge its top rate which for me is around 1.6 to 1.8 amp uh, this is only charging at 1 amp and again just for the sake of comparison let's try it with another charger I'll zoom in on the watt meter and yeah look you can see this one's charging at around 1. Point, oh it's went up to 1.9 but average say 1.8 1.7 amp so around 9 watts so that's the only downside I guess this charger is absolutely amazing for any device that supports Qualcomm quick charge it's also good for generic Androids power banks things like that but for Apple iPad it won't charge it at its highest rate it will only charge it at one amp so can you live with that yeah I think so I mean it's only one device with all my other devices it charges them at top speed so I think this gets a big thumbs up especially considering the price Tronsmart are very well known for their low prices and pretty high quality products so you know for what you get for your money I think it's well worth it so if you have any questions just put them in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching